Former policeman Derek Chauvin will serve a prison sentence for 22 and a half years for the murder of George Floyd while arresting him back in May last year. Floyd's killing took America by storm, sparking the nation's biggest movement for racial justice in decades. In April this year, Chauvin was found guilty of unintentional second-degree murder, third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter. Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison has called Chauvin's sentence as one of the longest for a former police officer for using unlawful deadly force in the U.S. while presiding judge assured the sentence is not based on emotions. I'm not basing my sentence also on public opinion. I'm not basing it on any attempt to send any messages. A trial court judge, the job of a trial court judge is to apply the law to specific facts and to deal with individual cases. U.S. President Joe Biden also weighed in saying the prison sentence for 22 and a half years seems to be appropriate. Well, I, I don't know all the circumstances that were considered, but it seems to me under the guidelines that seems to be appropriate. Members of Floyd's family are disappointed with the punishment for not being longer enough, as it fell short of the 30 years requested by the prosecutors. Floyd's brother has called 22 and a half years imprisonment a slap on the wrist. The reactions from the black community members are similar. This right here is this 22 year sentence they gave this man. It's a slap on the wrist. We serving a life sentence and not having him in our life. And that hurts me to death. And looking at his daughter, beautiful daughter Gianna in her video, saying the very first video of my dad changed the world. He did change the world. But at the end result, he gets a slap on the wrist. My nephew just said, 22 years from killing her dad. It's not fair. And I'm tired of people, peace policing black people. We're always supposed to be calm, we're always supposed to be cool, we're always supposed to be content. I've literally watched people get more time. Last year in the month of May, George Floyd died gasping under Chauvin's knee. Chauvin has been held at Minnesota's maximum security prison in Oak Park Heights since his conviction. It was not immediately clear whether he would spend his sentence entirely in prison. In Minnesota, convicted people with good behavior spend two-thirds of their sentence in prison and the final third on supervised release. So, chances are Chauvin could leave prison after about 15 years. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.